Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. So roughly a year ago I made an aquascape for my barber. The tank is still up and running, he's doing good, he's actually maintaining it himself. But today we're going to rescape it. So I went to visit my barber last week for the nice haircut. And when I was there, I was looking at the tank and it's not really looking that bad, but it can look a lot better, you know? So while I was talking to him, he actually told me that he's going on holiday for two weeks. So then I started thinking like, okay, this is actually a nice opportunity to do like a little surprise rescape. So after my appointment, I sent him a text message like, hey, do you want me to take care of your fish while you're gone? Of course, he was really happy that I offered that. So he gave me the keys to his barber shop, and he's now gone for two weeks. So yeah, good opportunity for like a little surprise rescape. So let's go over to the barber shop. Let's pick up the tank, bring it back here and uh, rescape it. Here we are. Let's take a close look. So I set this up one year ago and the idea was to just make something that would be super low maintenance because any maintenance would have been, yeah, would have to be done by me. My barber had no experience with the uh, planted tank, so couldn't really rely on him, of course. But uh, actually, it's for the past few months, he's been taking care of it himself. He uh, started to really enjoy it. He's doing his own water changes, trimming the plants and stuff like that. So really cool to see that. But yeah, it just can look, it can look a lot better. So let's drain this aquarium. So take it back to my place and then we can uh, get started. Okay, back home again. So I want to do a complete rescape on this aquarium. So I'm thinking to just take everything out. So I'll start by catching the fish and the shrimp first. I'll place them in a, in a bucket with some of the plants. I think we can reuse most of the plants as well. We have some beautiful crypts in here, some beautiful booster flandre, some really nice moss as well. So we can definitely reuse that. And then I'll probably also reuse a little bit of the substrate because the substrate is of course full of beneficial bacteria. And that way we don't really have to like start the cycle from, from scratch again. So yeah, I'll probably reuse some of the substrate but I don't think I will use the, the hardscape again. I'm gonna go for something completely different and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, tank's almost empty. I've managed to catch all the fish and the shrimp. I actually have a load of cherry shrimp in there and then a few ender guppies as well. I'm gonna put the fish and the shrimp in this bucket or they have the plants in there so then they can stay in there for a few days until the rescape is done or maybe a little bit longer if we have some uh, ammonia spike or something but um, yeah let's take out the substrate give the tank a good clean and then we can start all over okay it's now the next day Tank is all clean, so we're all ready to get started. Let's kind of quickly go over the setup that we have going on here. The tank itself is a Denless Capers tank. This is the 35 liter version, which is measuring uh, 39 centimeters from left to right. And that is, um, let's say 15 and a half inches. Then front to back, we have 32 centimeters or 12 inches. And the height is, um, it's about 28 centimeters. And that is, almost 11 inches. So total volume is roughly 35 liters and I think that's around about nine gallons or so. Then the light is the Chihiro's WRGB2 Slim. It's quite a powerful light, but we're not gonna be running it on full power because we're not gonna be using CO2 in here. It's gonna be a very low tech, simple setup. I'm also gonna use an internal filter, the filter that was already used before. And I'm currently keeping the filter up and running in this aquarium next to it, just so we keep the beneficial bacteria alive. So a yeah, super simple setup, just a tank, a light and a small internal filter. We're not going to be using CO2, we're not going to be using a heater because we just have the cherry shrimp and the guppies. Although I am thinking that I might add some different fish, but I'm not entirely sure yet. But the barbershop is very nice and warm, so we don't need a heater. So yeah, let's get started. Let's first uh, add in the substrate. Here we go. So this first layer is just the old substrate that I removed from this tank yesterday. I didn't rinse it. It's just been sitting in a bucket for the past 
24 hours or so. So it's still full of beneficial bacteria, still full of some nutrients as well. And we can now cap this with a fresh layer of aqua soil. And the fresh layer that I'm gonna be using is the Oasis caper soil. I still had this left over, but I think it's actually perfect for this little setup because from what I've experienced so far, this Oasis caper soil doesn't really contain a huge amount of nutrients and it also doesn't release ammonia. So this is gonna be a low tech setup and we're not gonna be doing lots of water changes either. So I don't want a lot of nutrients in the substrate. So I think this is actually perfect. Okay, so the substrate is done, so we can now move on to the hardscape. I'm gonna keep the hardscape pretty simple, like I always do, and just add a load of plants. And I'm gonna go for a triangular style composition, because with the way the aquarium is sitting in the barbershop, it's kind of tucked into a corner, and you view it from the front, as well as from this side. So it's nice to have a triangular style composition with this side a little bit more open. So I have uh, three pieces of serious stone, and then I have just one piece of wood. So just a very simple hardscape. Here we go, really simple, but I think it looks nice. I like all the branches kind of pointing in the same direction. It just really helps with that uh, triangular style composition, you know? And the rocks are all pointing towards the, uh, the front end here. So yeah, quite happy with that. Loads of room for, for plants still, so that's also good. And uh, next step is to glue the, this piece of wood to these rocks, just to make sure it's not gonna float up. And of course, as always, I'm going to do that with liquid type super glue and cotton pads. You guys have seen this a thousand times already. We don't need to repeat again. So let's just glue everything together. Okay, I think the hardscape is glued. We can do a little test. Yeah, it's not really moving anymore. So it's good enough. So we can now move on to planting. And plants for this project are sponsored by Denela Plants, so massive thank you to them. They're always hooking me up with beautiful, beautiful plants. And I've basically selected some of my favorites, and also keeping in mind that this is going to be a low-tech setup, so no CO2 and pretty much slow growing as well, preferably. So for the carpet, I'm going to go with Liliopsis and Marsalea, and these two together are just perfect. They will require basically no trimming and they will grow very slowly, so that's good. Of course, some crypts as well. We've got the beautiful crypt Lagroy. Really small crypt, really love this one. And this one's pretty cool as well. This is the, uh, the new Anubius Kitten Mini. So it's Anubius, but with this sort of serrated leaves. And then I did want some stem plants as well, but yeah, they had to be slow growing. So I'm going for the Ludwigia Super Red. And here I have the Meriophyllum Guyana, but I'm gonna prepare all these plants and then we'll talk a little bit more about them as I'm planting them. Here we go, plants all prepared. So obviously we're gonna start with the foreground first. For that I have the Liliopsis and the Marsleia. It's gonna be a mixed carpet. I'm gonna plant them over here as well as over there on the, on the side. This one is gonna take a long time because we have a lot of individual plants, so cue the time-lapse. I think this might have been the longest time I've ever spent on planting a carpet. I think it was almost an hour. Even my YouTube music playlist asked if I'm still watching. But yeah, I basically divided all the pots into like really tiny portions and really took my time to, uh, to plant densely. Because I want to have a full carpet quickly, you know, and we're not using CO2, so we need to plant densely from the beginning. So I've used two pots of Liliopsis and two pots of Marsalea, divided, up, divided them into really small portions. And I basically told myself like, you're not stopping until every single plant is inside the, uh, the carpet. So yeah, took a long time. Let's move on to the rest of the plants. So next up we have Starogyne Repens, or also known as s -repens. And this is like a perfect plant for transition to the mid-ground. I don't know if I've ever used this one in a low-tech environment or without CO2, but I think it's part of the easy category from the dental plant. So I think it will be just fine. I'm also gonna plant some in the back here. Next up, I'm gonna plant the Crypt Legroy. So we currently have a very green carpet, a lot of green. This is gonna provide a bit of a different color. At the moment, it's a little bit like yellowy. 
it's gonna be more like orange brown after a, after a little while. Next up we have the Anubias, the Kevin Mini. This one is already attached to a little piece of wood so we can just place it wherever we like. I'm thinking somewhere over here. Should be able to still see it. And then I have another one. I've removed the other one from the piece of wood and I'm just gonna wedge it in here. I think that's a nice spot for it. Now of course I also still had all the plants from the previous layout so I've kind of cleaned them up a little bit as well. So we have some crypts, we have some Bus of Landra, some Valis Neria, uh, this is Halantium and then we have some really nice uh, moss as well. So I think, for example here, it's a great spot for the crypt. Okay, time for the background plants. Now this corner over here needs to stay empty because that's where the internal filter is going to go. But next to that we still have a decent amount of space. So I'm first going to go in with the Meriophyllum Guyana. And then next to the Meriophyllum I'm going to go in with the Ludwigia Super Red. Okay, and then to finish it all off I think I'm going to add a little bit of moss on the, uh, on the rocks. So here I have the moss that I took from the previous layout as well. This is the uh, Bush of Landra moss. It goes very slowly, so it's perfect for this layout. The only thing I have to do is to cut this little branch over here because we're going to have a little on this aquarium and it's just, uh, just a little bit too long. There we go, that should be enough. Okay, so we're all done. Really happy with that. I think it looks good. All easy plants should go well without CO2, fingers crossed. So I'm thinking right now to go have some lunch. After lunch I'll bring the tank back to the barber shop, fill up with water, ins install the filter again. And yeah, then I, days, I basically have 10 days until my barber comes back from his holiday. So hopefully within 10 days we'll have some decent growth. But you guys are going to see that in a few minutes. <laughs> 